Yeah, if they were filming a movie, I would be the hero. <laughs> and they don't want me to be the hero, so this would be more like a story. A story. Yeah. Thank you. I think you're all good, too. <laughs> when I get home, I really can't handle much of anything on my stomach or it just comes right back up. So we eat white rice. And you can prepare white rice a lot of different ways. You can put it in a blue bowl or a yellow bowl. You could eat it with a plastic spoon or a metal spoon. And honestly, any good meal, I might get five, six, seven spoonfuls of white rice. And, and then in the morning, uh, Gail, <laughs> Gail will make me cream of wheat. And that again can be prepared a number of different ways. You can eat that in a blue bowl or a yellow bowl or a clear bowl. It should be a little bit tender around here. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just the second yeah. day or third day, right. but it looks great. Can I listen uh -huh, to you? Of course. You want my back or? One more time. So now this will be your body Kay. for 30 minutes. Okay. you feel it, taste it, smell it? Yeah. All of the above? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There are these long um, hours of just being in bed or walking around the floor. And quite honestly, I, I have my journal with me. I write. Uh, I think about things to do. But I also think about... Um, I think about the passage of time and whether I was in the hospital or at work or at home, those minutes would still pass. And I work hard to redeem each one of those minutes, to build relationships with uh, the people who come in the room, to, to leave a, a sense of my own spiritual well-being with the caregivers. And last time, 21 days ago, my kids started a texting pictures from their childhood or from their and and what started is kind of a, a conversation ended up with dozens and dozens of texts I have no idea how they resurrected these pictures uh, both of our daughter-in-laws uh, Cayenne and Andrea pulled up pictures from their uh, childhood and it was uh, it was a great reminder that um, that this is just a season of life like the seasons we had before and and the seasons we'll have after. Uh, I'm just spending it in chemo right now, but I look forward to my hair growing back and being back on campus and, yeah. So I think about, I think a lot about the future when I'm in this bed and that's not such a bad thing. <laughs>